to all of you, um, I recommend Joyce McConnell highly and without reservation to be um, appointed as the 15th president of Colorado State University. The Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System approved the appointment of Joyce E. McConnell, J.D. to the position of President of Colorado State University effective July 1, 2019. And the motion is unanimously approved and we welcome the 15th President of Colorado State University, Joyce McConnell. I'm humbled, actually, by your confidence in me and determined that I will not let you down. The first thing I want to do is celebrate this community. I really want to make sure that everyone in this community understands how important Colorado State University is, not just to the state of Colorado, but to the nation and the world, and how highly regarded it is. Through higher education, we can transform lives and tackle the toughest world challenges. We have the can-do, innovative spirit of the frontier. We are fiercely independent, but always ready to lend a hand. Surviving and thriving on innovation problem solving, but proud of tradition. And prone to quietly accomplishing great things without being arrogant. Some of you are old enough to recall that John Denver wrote both about West Virginia and Colorado. <laughs> so we share in that fame. And although I am trading the Appalachians for the Rockies and John Denver's country roads of West Virginia for his Colorado Rocky Mountain High, I know I am among fellow travelers who believe that purpose must drive all we do. CSU's commitment to the power that comes from diversity, equity, and inclusion is essential to the success, to its success, and its commitment to improving the future of the world. For almost 150 years, CSU has been creating the talent and research essential to Colorado's prosperity. I am excited to bring my passion for these missions to CSU, Fort Collins, and Colorado and to continue to nurture the thriving spirit that created this university and is still evident today. Chancellor Tony Frank leaves an unparalleled legacy upon which to build. I know that everyone connected with this great institution is greatly uh, appreciative of everything Tony has done. And for mo my part, I am very grateful to Chancellor Frank, not only for his extraordinary accomplishments on behalf of Colorado State, but for his graciousness and humor throughout the process of identifying his successor. He clearly loves this institution and this state, and I cannot thank him enough for entrusting me with the university's future. I really want an organization where people are proud of the work that we do. Um, I really want to create teams that work extremely well together and can um, make sure that they have a sense of purpose and that we're all aligned in that sense of purpose. That's how things get done. Um, and I want to be a president who helps to get things done um, by mobilizing all of the people, whether it's on campus or in Colorado or beyond. I think we have just phenomenal opportunity here and that makes my leadership very exciting. I approach every day with a great sense of purpose. I deeply believe in the power of higher education to transform lives and families. And so this is just extraordinary and fits very much with my leadership style. I also hope that we come to work every day, not only with a sense of purpose, but with joy in that purpose. And that we can learn to not only talk to one another, but experience one another at a very human level. CSU is a national leader in higher education, and it has powerful momentum and an upward trajectory that can't be stopped. Thank you all for giving me this remarkable opportunity to lead your institution. I'm so excited for all that we're going to accomplish together. Thank you so very much.